That's it, everybody. That's our theme song to the Church of the Lost Souls, broadcasting and welcoming you to the Parkway Theater in South Minneapolis. We come to you every Sunday, uh, wherever, what time it is in the part of the world that you're watching us, or right here in the beautiful, beautiful, extra warm temperatures. Those of you around uh, the country that have been watching know that we've had uh, sub-zero temperatures and snow the last three weeks. And I'm going to ask the audience, what temperature do you think it is out there? 60-some degrees is the perfect time to have church. <laughs> what that means is let's get out of the house, let's be together. Or, or if you have to be at home and you can't fly to Minneapolis, the... The Church of the Lost Souls is, uh, as we've talked about in the past, is a place where people can come if they're looking for directions. Lost souls, get it? Okay, but directions where? Not how to drive your car somewhere. You know, we talked about this last week. It's, it's about finding direction and finding a connection to what's going on around you. And boy, there's a whole lot going on around uh, this area here in the Twin Cities. Uh, and I'm just going to tell you that it's always good to, uh, to search for the truth. And we might talk a little bit about that um, after these next couple songs, because these next couple songs are all about teaching each other and caring for each other. And that's what we do here at the Church of the Lost Souls. And you don't have to pay extra for that. That's just what we do. We take care of each other and we hold on to the plow. Whatever that means in your mind, it's a beautiful thing to hang on and hold on together. We're going to hold on to each other together. So, uh, 
We'll make introductions as we go along here, but I'll shout one out real quick here. Starting this next song and leading us into this uh, familiar tune about teaching each other and caring for each other. Uh, on the whistle, Laura McKenzie. Here we go. <laughs> Don't you wait. 
there she is, Laura McKenzie, the wind-powered artist. And if you if you enjoyed that, if you enjoy Celtic music, and if you have friends that enjoy Celtic music here in Minneapolis or out there across the world, be sure to tune in next week. We have a spotlight guest every week, and we're very, very excited for today's spotlight guest. Nicholas David is here for this week. But next week, March 14th, is three days before What day? St. Patty's Day? <laughs> Guess who our spotlight guest is going to be on March 14th? Laura McKenzie is going to feature a lot of her, her more intense, the Celtic music that I'm not good enough to play, is how I think of it. And yes, there will be bagpipes. And there will be bagpipes. Oh, yes, oh, there yes. will be. And there will be some unusual um, pieces that feature the bagpipes. We promise you that for sure for that week. But, you know, that's what we're doing here at, uh, at the Church of the Lost Souls. We're sharing things that maybe you never got to share on a Sunday, um, wherever you were hanging out. Um, this is a good place to, this is a good time to actually think about that last piece. Teach your children well. Well, um, this fella who I admire so much, Bill Withers, wrote this next tune, and it's very much connected to the first tune, Teach Your Children. This is a tune featuring right next to me my sweet friend who was our spotlight guest last week. If you missed it, you can look it back up and you can watch it again. But please welcome on lead vocal, Kathleen Johnson. Grandma's hand.
hand me a piece of candy. Grandma's hand. Pick me up each time I fail. Grandma's hand. Oh, they really came in handy. She said, Maddie, don't you whip that boy. Why'd you go and spank his phone? He don't drop no apple core. But if I, I get on the grip anymore, and if I get to heaven, oh, grandma's hand. Oh, grandma's hand. Yeah. Captain Johnson. On fiddle, Nate Wilson and Luke Enyart on guitar all night long. They're not going anywhere, everyone. And I, 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 I just want to remind you real quick that you're not going to get a show like this in New York City now, are you? Tonight you're not. You got to be with us, and we're here with you, and we promise to be with you for eight more weeks. And part of how that happened is because of the incredible uh, invitation from a theater that's been a neighborhood theater for me. The Parkway Theater here is trying to revitalize and get music out there to people. And I want to bring up uh, the executive artistic director, Jessica Paxton, to just say a word right now. It's a good time because she's got to run. Hello and welcome to the Parkway. Um, first of all, Kathleen Johnson, oh my God. Yeah, right. Yeah. <laughs> wow, that was amazing. Um, on behalf of the Parkway, I can't tell you how exciting it is to have live music on the stage, applause from the audience in the room. It's just an incredible experience to be open. Thank you to everyone who's here with us in person and for purchasing a ticket today. Uh, when Billy first contacted me about the concept of this series, I thought, church, music, sure, music is my gospel, it's my religion, let's do it. Um, but I was also thinking about what he said after that first song about how hanging on, holding on, looking out for each other. Uh, it's hard to believe it's been almost, it has been a year since we've been shut down. Venues shut down, musicians not having the opportunity to perform for audiences, audiences and music lovers not being able to experience live performance, tech people, lighting people, audio people, live stream people, uh, roadies, guitar techs, you know, all of us have really just been trying, groupies, fans, you know, it's been a really freaking hard year. Um, so, in that tone, without being too preachy, see what I did right there, preachy, um, we really need support. Uh, so if you are watching online and you can throw something in the offering plate, it would be really appreciated. We've got 10 professional musicians on this stage. We've got their lighting tech, their guitar tech, their roadies, uh, audio people, special guests. Um, you know, these people need to make a living too. So if you're able to throw some money uh, towards this series, please, please do and know that we are incredibly grateful for your support. Again, it's so exciting to be presenting live performance again. And please keep tuning in each Sunday. This is an incredible series. We have Nicholas David today. Uh, the sound check earlier, it is gonna get funky in here. He sounds incredible. We've got other, uh, coming up in future weeks, we've got Chris Coza, Turn, 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 Jeff Arundel, Annie Mack. So again, thank you for your support. Thank you for being here. And uh, keep the faith and let's get back to the good gospel. Everyone give it up for Larry, who Larry takes Kay. care of us. <laughs> Larry, that was a heck of a wipe down. Way to go. Now, we've been talking about teaching and learning and teach your children and what grandma can teach you, but I'll tell you what the environment can teach us too. When we're not treating it right and things are uh, uh, looking, uh, you know, kind of backwards in a way, 
And uh, this piece is, was not written, um, you know, recently, but boy, people were recognizing it quite a while ago. At center stage, uh, featured on lead vocals on this next tune, Karen Paris, and she'll get the point across. That's my favorite Joan Baez song ever. Oh, Billy. <laughs> what? I'm just checking if you're here. <laughs> hey, you guys at home, did you laugh at that one? <laughs> Actually, I don't know exactly where to look. I, like, it's something about talking to people out there. You want to look up, you know, like they're out there floating <laughs> when they're really in... New Jersey. Oh, hey, my Jersey people, yay. <laughs> Alabama, Florida, Denver area. Fridley. Fridley. <laughs> Owatonna. <laughs> you know, we're, we're learning how to gather in a different way, I guess, is, is the point. And, um, and we're going to be here eight more weeks. Uh, just to be clear, we're really dedicated um, not to let you feel lonely on a Sunday afternoon or if you're in Australia, a Monday morning. <laughs> huh. Who would want to be alone in Australia on a Monday morning? I don't know. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. Well, oh, oh, yes. <laughs> look at these two. Yeah. Who has a family? It's been quarantined for a year. The nine-year-old. <laughs> Teaching in school. She's going to I think you can keep going it's with hard. that sermon. <laughs> she, can, it's hard. Could you, could you please, <laughs> Pastor, <laughs> keep going on that? It's hard. <laughs> I love my son, <laughs> and he loves Minecraft, but not math. <laughs> <laughs> I love Minecraft. 
So I've had some emails out to Minecraft to please teach math. <laughs> this is all way over my head, folks. I just thought it would be cool to hang out on Sundays and not have anyone tell us what we can do. Why do you think I come here? I know. That's, no, that was awesome. <laughs> No, Amy, that was awesome, but it was just over my head. What is, is Minecraft like a video game? It's like Legos on a video game. Oh, okay. Yeah. I'm learning, and this is live, uh, this is live entertainment, everybody, unscripted, and uh, live television, if you want to call a live stream that. Um, you know, we all have an opportunity to help each other. And uh, sometimes we're looking for help. And so sometimes you can be the bow and you can help shoot the arrow uh, further ahead. That's a Cahil Gibran from a book called The Prophet. And that's where this uh, original tune of mine, I know I'm finally gonna do it, you guys. I'm yeah. gonna do one of my own songs. Yeah, Billy! <laughs> the bow and the arrow.
Special thanks to all these great singers, and to our bass player, Dan yeah. Ristrom, who I hadn't introduced yet, and to our drummer, Patrick Nelson, on the drums today. And I've got one more person to introduce, and she's going to be featured on this next song. Am I doing this in the right order? What's next? Yeah. <laughs> Turn your pages to Gospel Street. <laughs> I know him. Let's have a moment of silence. <laughs> that happens at church. You can make music by yourself. You can make music with a great big group. You can make music with one other person. Um, and I'm not just talking about making music. I'm talking about how you live your life. You know, you can be inclusive. You might want to stay close with somebody. You might have that kind of heart where you want to reach out and be with a lot of people. I kind of struggle with all of it. Low-key same. Uh, we'll introduce the masked man as we go here, too. Uh, gosh, that was nice of Jessica from the Parkway Theater to get, get up and talk a little bit about what we're trying to do here. <clears throat> and we are committed, and we promise you, um, and I think it's, it's good to hear for people to hear this, that we promise... Uh, like we talked about last week, that music can be a lighthouse for all the different ships, wherever they come from, wherever they're going to. It can be a lighthouse, and we promise that we'll be shining for you the next eight weeks. What about that? It's going to get tricky in the fall when I go head-to-head -head with the NFL. We got this. Maybe. Maybe my favorite ever version of this familiar a song that might be familiar to a lot of you, featuring Amy Quartz on lead vocals. <laughs>
Amy Court. I caught you knocking in my cellar door. <laughs> Celebrating each other's talents. And uh, and letting that be part of what draws our community of music together. It really is a lot about that. You see what's going on up here, right? This is a this is an unusual group um, to get together on a on a Sunday afternoon, um, but we we so mean it and and I dreamt about this church of the lost souls for such a long time and what it could mean is really it's really up to you um what you take from this music and how it uh, it matters to you and I love music that has no words sometimes too do you You know what we want to teach the most, everybody? We want to teach the truth, right? We want to teach our kids to be truthful. We want to help each other be truthful. And I, I, I got a truth quote for you that I want you to guess who said it. And somebody might guess right away. And if you're online, you know, you, you can put your answer in. You know how the chat, like I'm learning about that, right? <laughs> I like that everyone's chatting. But here we go. I'm gonna, maybe I'll give away something if you get it right. Truth is like the sun. You can shut it out for a time, but it ain't going away. Think about us here in Minneapolis, everybody. Who do you think said that? I'll give you a hint. It was a musician. Good guess. We, we heard Bob Dylan so far. Think bigger. Think bigger. The, the uh, truth is like the sun. You can shut it out for a time, but it ain't going away. Elvis Presley. Everybody. No, come on. Elvis had his moments. How about, how about this one? And this is as much, this is fun, like this is as far as into like telling quick stories before I play guitar. Just kind of trying to calm down before I play backwards. <laughs> how, how about this one about the truth and about teaching and, and helping each other, you know, hit that level of, of what we're trying to teach. Even if you're a minority of one, the truth is the truth. That was not a musician who said that, but that's a good one, right? You know who that was? Mahatma Gandhi. All right. Okay, we got time for one last one. I'm in charge of this, so I guess it was silly that I asked you. <laughs> All right, from another musician. Truth is the ultimate power. When truth comes around, all the lies have to run and hide. Who is that, anybody? My kid guessed Tupac. No, it's close. You know who said that? I'll read it again. The truth is the ultimate power. When the truth comes around, all the lies have to run and hide. 
Cubes, Ice Cube. And my very last quote. You know, those are that. You know what? Those are pretty deep, and there's a lot of lot of deep stuff coming down 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 the track. And had I known this earlier quote, I would have had an easier time with the last several years of my life. The quote is, a lie gets halfway around the world before the truth even has a chance to get its pants on. Can I say that one again? The, a lie gets halfway around the world before the truth even has a chance to get its pants on. Not as old as... No. Okay, we're having fun, you know, and if you can't have fun on Sundays, wherever you go on Sundays, you're just, you know, you can just decide to come here because we do have fun. That was Winston Churchill, everybody. Isn't that interesting? Well, I would like to say a word or two um, before I get into this kind of thing.
Thanks to the little piece called Into the Light. Let's get into the light some more here. Nate Wilson on the mandolin. No, it's, it's not Let's get into the light. Thank you to my Alabama friend, Linda Williams, who named that piece and helped help uh, establish this idea that sometimes, you know, if you say if you say the words into the light, that means that at some time in the past you were right. So into like movement into the light, and and we've got some movement happening right now because we have our special guest who's gonna uh, was so gracious. A uh, lot of you know about him from his. Uh, his, his TV success, and who would uh, not be happy for someone uh, from Minnesota with a wonderful voice and an incredible talent to do well in that situation. But I know him also as a soul brother and as somebody who writes music and expresses himself from the deepest levels of who he is. His, he's on KFAI, uh, KFAI Radio uh, on Tuesdays every week. Uh, I just want to welcome him right now and let him do his thing and let it happen. Please welcome Nicholas David to the Church of the Lost Souls. Hey, bro. Thank you, dude. Yeah, wonderful. Yeah, yeah, yeah. How about it for Billy Mack, ladies and gentlemen? Come on. I always feel like Billy's mastered a little bit of the language of the trees. That song in particular. I'm washed over with so much emotion. It's been a year since I played in front of a live audience, essentially. It's really, thank you for the opportunity. So I was wondering if we could, if we could sing this one together a little bit. It's a little part you go, Let's do it again. Oh, oh, oh. So when I when I hold the hand up, we'll call it in and we'll do it together. This is called Never Give Up.
Beautiful, ladies and gentlemen. Thank you. Now, come on, Yazzer. <laughs> hey, let's keep that applause flowing and the love rolling for Dan Ristam and Patrick Nelson on the drums and bass. Come on. Holy buckets, ladies and gentlemen. How we doing? How we feeling? Come on. Sounds a little funky to me. Uh Secret of our hidden past. When we're awake, feel these memories, disguised as dreams, and constructs of reality held up by belief. Come on now, can will, can will we are already have not. Let us not forget the secret of our hidden past. Let us not forget the secret of our hidden past. Let us not forget the secret of our hidden past. Can already have. Let us not forget the secret of our. Come on. Secret of a hidden fast in the can will already have. Let us not forget the secret of a hidden fast. Can will already have Dan Ristrom on that bottom. Come on. on the drums to the center stage please Pat Nelson on the drum center stage Hey! 
Let us not forget the secret of our head and pass hold fast to the language of the heart for the old ways. They're falling apart and fear not, fear not. But what is there to fear? You and me and everything, one the same as always been. Filling the space to begin again and again and again. Part of this breath, part of this life, come and go in different times and for many different reasons. Many different reasons. Reasons we're breathing the breath of the seasons and the queen of the angels. The queen of the angels held us the whole time. We already had, already had, hey, already had. Let's bring it back up. Come on, one, two. Hey, hey. Hey, hey. Hey, yeah. Hey, yeah, yeah. Hey, yeah, yeah. Hey, hey, yeah, yeah. Can we already have? Let us not forget the secret of a hidden path. Let us not forget the secret of a hidden path, and we'll already have. Let us not forget the secret of a hidden path, and we'll already have. <laughs> Come on now. <laughs> Pleasure to treat. I, I don't. It's been a year, I think, since I got that funky. We're gonna do one more number. How we doing? How we feeling? Thanks again, Billy Mac, for the opportunity. Really appreciate it. Yazer. Yes, Billy is gonna be giving an online course on the secret language of trees <laughs> starting in the spring, which is a few weeks away. So Billy, BillyMcLaughlin.com, I believe you can check out that class. <laughs> On the realm of the mother, this is a tune I wrote for all the moms out there as well as this mother earth. Here we go, come on, let's go. Oh my mama, she's crying. This house is dirty, all we do is fight and run away. Children are dying. Why do you don't sleep, walk their way to the grave? Come on. Found a policies and democracies in any way to squeeze a dollar. We used to get on our knees to pray, to pray. Now it's MSG and USB and fluoride in our showers, showers. Sooner or later, the power's gonna go out when all we do is take. She's crying, crying. This house is dirty. All we do is fight and run away, fight and run away. Yeah. And the children are dying. Why do you don't sleep, walk the way to the grave? Come on. my life. 
life today. Ladies and gentlemen, I'm Nicholas David. Pleasure to play for you. Yazzer. <laughs> Patrick Nelson, Dan Restrum, Billy Mack, Yazzer. Nicholas David, everybody. <laughs> yeah. Hey, Nicholas. We What's got that, one, buddy? We got one song left. It's real easy, and I think you might have fun hanging out with us, but I want I want you to tell us a little bit more while everyone's coming up. We got a second here. Why don't you tell us a little bit more about all the things you got going on, because this is a great moment to just, uh, you know, let us know. Well, I got this scarf. <laughs> okay, there you go. I was just kidding, sorry. <laughs> it's actually quite a story. Each piece is... This hat is from uh, Lukenbach, Texas, yeah. where William Whalen played. Boys. It was funny, I'll never forget, we rolled down there, <laughs> and this guy's like, the band's here! And we had to roll in the side thing, and there was like a hat shack. And there was a hat that was similar to this, and it had a rattlesnake on it. Rattlesnake skeleton, not a real rattlesnake. And I said, I'd like that hat, and he goes, that's mine. <laughs> so. But my name is Nicholas David. Music from the heart, for the heart. Pleasure to be here, Billy. Thank you so much. Church of the Lost Souls. What a great Church guest. Church of the Lost Souls, yeah. What a great guest. Yeah. Well, let's see what's going to happen here to... Bring us home and send us home with a message about uh, the fact that we all got a deep well. We have a deep well right in here. And Kathleen talked about it last week. She came out. I just love this woman so much. She said, you said, I used to come out and say, how y'all doing out there? And now I say, you go ahead and say it, Kate. I say, how are you doing in here? Yeah. In here, and your strength. That, yeah. How's your strength? How's it doing? How we, <laughs> how we doing? How we doing? Everywhere, wherever you're watching, and um, maybe you're watching after the fact uh, because we keep these up for a little while um, so you can enjoy the talent. But we're gonna end with another Billy Mac tune. Can you believe it? <laughs> I'm sticking my neck out. And we're sticking our necks out to do this together. And so any support, any just sharing, you know, I've always, my career and every other great artist career that I know of started with a word of mouth. And it's people telling people and people telling people and people wanting to support that music that you can't find. Like I said, you're not gonna find this show in New York City tonight. It's here at the Parkway in South Minneapolis. We'll be back next week. We will be back next week. Man, I want to bring Nicholas David as he should be playing every week with us. <laughs> you know? Each week we could talk about a different article of clothing as well, like, <laughs> and use it as a metaphor how we clothe our spirits and excuses. Oh. Didn't see that one coming. Didn't see that one coming. Oh. Yahtzee. <laughs> Or as you say, my buddies and I used to say, we used to say, check please. <laughs> any questions, class? <laughs> oh, I, I like. Hey, Nicholas, you can use that. Any questions, class? Okay, so I got one last one on top of that. What's that? No problem can be solved by the same level of consciousness that created it. Oh. Albert. Einstein. What was going to say, Camus? Albert King, right, the guitar player. <laughs> no, no, that was Einstein. Thank you, Virginia from Ventura, for sharing that one. That's a great quote. No problem can be solved.
by the same level of consciousness that created it. And so what I'm saying in this next song is there, everybody's got a deeper place. Circumstances take us beyond what we think we got. We got this. We got this. We got the Church of the Lost Soul. We can be together and support each other. This is called From the Well.
Kathleen Johnson. Yes, sir. Blowing it up with our brother Nicholas David. I'm, I'm hoping Nicholas. Hey, brother. I'm hoping you. We can. We can have a little Q and A here now. Everybody, the church is over. Go in peace. And what I always say is, we love you. Now go love each other. We've always said that. With my group, says we love you. Now go love each other. Give it up for the band: Kathleen, Karen, Amy, Laura. Billy O on percussion, Art Patrick, Nathan, Luke, and we've got uh, our tech people. Larry is the masked man, and TJ on all the video and audio. Matt Larson came here to help us uh, record, but Lauren Wicklander and our great house staff here, Craig and, every, and Jessica and everybody at the Parkway. We're so lucky to be here, but we have a little moment now which is a little unusual. Um, I don't think the Eagles do this. <laughs> but it'd be, it, it's so cool that our spotlight guests are willing to take a few questions from the audience here. And we do have- Oh, that's not what we talked about. Yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> you know, turn up the reverb. Right? <laughs> <laughs> yeah. No, you know, uh, <laughs> if we got just a couple minutes, is that cool? Yeah, baby. Okay. So we thank your dad for being here. Yeah, yeah Love I your do. Dad. Yeah. Um, and, and so... My dad's been at almost every gig I played. I think the first one was 1996 in a, in a Woodland, Egan, Minnesota block party. <laughs> we played like three songs and then we're like, all right, let's take a break. And we went and took a break. After three songs, because we didn't know what we were doing. We were so freaking pumped. We were, there was a bunch of, we were, I, was, I used to be a football player, and it was all, we were all football players, and then we had a soccer player drummer. <laughs> and uh, it's real, true story. How did that change it? I think it just allowed us, you know, to expand our, our reach, you know? Okay. Right on. Well, this is a special part of what we're committed to with the Church of the Lost Souls. It's kind of like asking your pastor, what the hell were you talking about? Or something like that, you know, <laughs> which uh, I wanted to do many times uh, when I was quite young. Um, I got lucky later on. But uh, I anyone here in the house, and I'll repeat your question so that folks online can hear them. But we're also taking, uh, if you're on the chat, what is that called when you're on, like, Facebook Live? I think it's called a comment. Okay, a comment. If, if y'all are commenting and want to ask. Um, I, I think it is. I don't, is that my, my wrong? I, I am wrong, you're saying? No. I, yes, you're wrong. Brother, I got We're no off to idea. a bad start. No. <laughs> Listen, I got no idea. I got no idea. I'm just kidding. Sorry. I got no idea. But we, we'd be happy to take any questions, please, <laughs> for, for Nicholas or, or uh, you know, Billy about what, what we're doing. Questions? Shout them out. Angel. I think I was eighth grade. How old are you in eighth grade? 13, 12, 13? Nice. Yeah, it was super deep. <laughs> yeah, I think I lost my piano sound though. Uh, there it is. I get lost when I look into your eyes, the way they move, the way they hypnotize. Pretty, pretty groundbreaking. <laughs> I can see that you're the one that's meant for me. We fit together so perfectly. Dude, that's beautiful. That's a 16 year old fella. He, he didn't know much. But he was he was honest and vulnerable and open and truthful. He still is. Yeah, man. I get it. I get it. I, I oh I know you I, do. I get it, because that's all we have, really, in it when it comes to, to doing what we do. We gotta we gotta tell it. And I talked a little bit about truth, and I think our, our city is going to be, the people are going to be watching us and all that. And music is all part of how we connect with each other and process all this business that's happening and uh, extracurricular social things that are going on. And uh, we embrace everybody in this band. And on Sundays, it's about everybody um, getting together. So anybody else? Um, I, I love those kind of questions. Yep. He, she's asking about a New Orleans vibe 
uh, from this fellow from uh, from Minnesota. And there's a couple a couple things on that. It's a it's a multi-layered, just like my wardrobe. We told you we'd be using the wardrobe as you know. I'm just kidding, but it's New Orleans. A couple of different things. I met you know, and this Billy can attest to this. Our our business, so to speak, we can kind of swim through the echelons of society, and you get to see a whole colorful and interesting cast of characters. And I met a few folks along the way who have said that my spirit is actually old, and that I used to, one of the last times I came here, I actually settled in New Orleans. So there might be some accuracy to that, because I resonated with that, but again, I'm not super sure, and I can't verify it 100%. That's what this show is about. Yeah. 100%. Well. But I, and then also, I've, I've always felt this pull to go down to New Orleans and this pull. And then I was out playing music with my buddies. I got to play music with some of the Almond Brothers kids, and that was unbelievable to go in this the history of rock and roll highway and see all these places. Because I'm a music nerd. My basement is full of CDs and music DVDs and VHS and cassettes. And my wife loves that our record collection is upstairs in the kitchen. <laughs> But on top of that, this huge pull to always go down there. And then I, I had met um, my friend Samantha Fish, who, who lives down in New Orleans. She said, hey, you want to come down to New Orleans? I would love to produce your next record. So I actually got to go back. So it was like we were kind of past life stuff. I remind people of New Orleans just by my own you know, appearance. Even when I'm down there, I'd hop in a cab and someone's like, wow, you remind me of the good doctor. Oh, yeah. So I hope that kind of answers your question. Maybe a, a touch long-winded, but that kind of comes with the territory. I got a follow-up. I got a follow-up Louisiana question for, for you, my brother. Yes, sir. Have you found a good bowl of gumbo anywhere in the Twin Cities? And let me know where it is. I wouldn't say the Twin Cities, to be honest. <laughs> okay, that's where we have it. I really haven't. But I haven't accessed... I've, I was going to say accessorily. I don't know if that's a thing. <laughs> but I haven't accessorily gone looking for it. <laughs> okay. Like, I'm up, up in Minnesota to be like, I mean, you know what? You know what, kids? Know. We're going to go get some gumbo today. Yeah, yeah. You got to... <laughs> I'm all about Mobile and New Orleans, and I got my spots down there yeah, in, in, in all of them. We got time for just a couple more. Anything online coming in? Um, I'm not exactly how we get those, uh, because... We don't have a laptop in front of us, and I get, I'm getting this from my, <laughs> from, you, nothing. Okay, that that's all right. But we got, we do have time for one more. Anybody else who would like to? Um, I mean, we're celebrating the opportunity to share this time with you. So if you have a question, okay, online. As a kid, what music did you listen to, Nicholas? I had a, a wide assortment, actually. My dad, who's here, he listened to like Blood, Sweat, and Tears and Bread oh, yeah. in Chicago. Sam and Dave. Oh, yeah. And I really didn't like that stuff when I was younger. <laughs> but now I truly love it. And I'd also roll around in the car a lot with my mom, who played loads of Cool 108, so I got a lot of 50s and 60s Motown. And then she also had a Doors cassette tape that I, I took from her. And then also Disney movies to and through all the way from the front to the back. And I'm still, that's like where, that's the next step hopefully is to start working with Disney. I love Disney. Yeah. Hey, are you, are you feeling at all like, uh, you know, you're not running out of gas on what you're doing with your music. You, you feel inspired to me today. And for you to watch you play for the first time live in a long time was a lot of fun for Thank me. Thank you, dude. And I, I, I think it was for you. And this man's got a lot of music to write, and I love that song about your mother <laughs> and, all, and everything that you did and your connections with people here in the community, and that's how we build community, everyone. Whether it's through music or dance or through the arts, we find each other and we, we talk and we share the truth and we teach each other. That was a big part of the uh, Church of the Lost Souls today, and that's all I've got for you. For me, Billy Mack, and if, if, he's, if uh, our friend Nicholas David has any closing words, let's let him close us out for just a second. Okay, everyone, bow your heads now. <laughs> <laughs> Be careful.
careful with what you got Cause you don't know when it'll be gone You know What do you know? Well, life she teaches and life she loses But she never loses faith There's gonna be dark days Couple with sun's rays Makes no difference either way And time and time again I'm broken I'm broken pieces scattered on yesterday Yesterday's doorstep Took something greater I begun to lay roots And bear fruit And look at the world Like it's new taken taken too much time I was focused on focused on what was lost but believe me you're worth it and your love teaches me to this day and a thousand thank you not a moment too late Cause it's now I always tell my kids this, they say if we know better, then be better. Yeah. Peace be with you, folks. Ladies and gentlemen, peace, peace, peace. Nicholas, David, everyone, what a nice, beautiful gift. Un unscripted, it's always going to happen here at the Church of the Lost Souls. We're going to get you back as soon as we can because you helped us get off the ground now. Okay, good night, everyone. God bless you. Thank we you. love you. Now go love each other. That's just that simple.